Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I am here to bring you my year-end haul. Um, so I did not do haul videos for October and because I really only got one thing in October and then I didn't do a haul in November either and I figured that I might as well just wait until the end of the year because most of my stuff didn't even come in until the end of November. So I am doing my haul now from October, November, December and let's just go ahead and jump right into it. As you can kind of see, I have a bunch of GOT7 stuff and BTS stuff. They are my two, my top two groups, so that makes sense. So let's just go ahead and I'll start out with the GOT7 stuff since I have it right here and very close. So the first thing that I will mention is I got myself an Agabong. If you have been following me for a while, you would know that I already have one. But, um, so I recently started dating my boyfriend and one of his ways to woo me was to pick up something for me on a whim and he found this light stick and surprised it with surprised me with it so I now have two um I am gonna keep them both um just because they both have sentimental value to me because obviously this one my boyfriend got for me and then the other one is the one that I've used every other time that I have seen them except for the first concert that I went to in which I didn't have it yet but every other show after that so I've, the six other shows that I've seen GOT7 at, I've had that light stick, so it's kind of sentimental at this point, and I don't want to give it up. But I also don't want to give up the one that my boyfriend gave me, so I currently have two Agabongs. Okay. Next up, let's go through this stuff. So I ran a group order for the Arrival monograph, and I will start with this first. Um, so this is the Arrival monograph. See, in case you guys didn't know, if you guys get a beat up one, chances are that means I have a more beat up one. Because <laughs> um, usually I give out, I will take the ones that have the most damage and then everybody else gets other the rest. So sometimes you just can't control the way that they ship it because this was all wrapped well and everything, but it still got a little beat up. But it is really pretty. So this is from Arrival. Um, I do also have their Turbulence one. It comes with these big cards. Um, I haven't put them into my photo book yet, which I will after this unboxing. And so we have JD, Mark, Jin Young, Jackson. It always hates me that they have that out of order. Half the time it's out of order. Um, Young J, Bam Bam, and Yukio. So um, they're just big cards. It's the same thing that they had in the Turbulence one. Um, and then it's got a really nice photo book that goes along with it and then the DVD in the back. Um, but I'll just kind of flip through the photo book real quick for you guys in case you haven't seen it. But the guys are always gorgeous. So it's unsurprising that this would be just as gorgeous. I love GOT7. And that is never going to change. But, oh man, all this beautifulness. And there we go. But yeah, so that is the Arrival monograph. Um, and I like these monographs. It's a nice little compilation of that particular era. All in like this neat little book thing. Um, so then next up, this was from back in October, which I never showed you guys, but this is my 7 for 7. This is the regular edition. This is the pre-order one, so there were multiple ones. So there's this postcard book. I'm not going to flip through it. There's one for each version. I did already do an unboxing for these guys. Um, then here are the cards. So I bought a bunch of versions for myself. I bought multiple copies. So I have, I've sold all the rest, but um, I just have the two now, but I do have the multiple cards. So I have JB, Mark. I try to collect them all. I don't have all of their cards. I am missing still, I need Jackson and yu gi -Oh. Those were the two for the selfie card. For this one, this is not in order. 
Actually, it is in order, but it's for some reason backwards. There we go. <laughs> um, so for this one, I need Jin Young and Yu Kyum. Um, Yu Kyum is usually the last person I collect. Um, so in case you did not know, Bam Bam and JB are my biases. So I always aim for collecting these two guys. And then anybody else I can get after that, I go for. Um, so here we have, obviously I have JB. Again, these are the two that I always aim for. <laughs> um, and then I usually go for Jackson after those two. Um, so those are the cards that I got for the regular seven for seven. Then there's also, they released the present edition. And so the pre-order gift for the present edition, we'll start with those, is are these little um, calendars. So it came with this little card as well. And then each version has a set of 12 cards here. Each that has a photo. I'll show you all the photos. So we have JB, we Mark, Jackson, Jin Young, Bam Bam, Yukyum. Then we have some group ones. Oh, it's a Markson one. And then two full group ones. And then on the backs, they just have the um, the dates here. So I don't know how well you can see it. It says memo. And then you can pretty much just select which. It's not like hard and fast which one has to be which month it's just a basic grid so that's kind of nice and then you pretty much can like circle which month you're using it for so you know which month and then they can slide in to the framing just like that and then if you have it on the other side it slides in and fits just nicely like that so you have you can have the two ends and you can just swap out which month it is so that is kind of cool. And so there are two different versions because there was the um, cozy and starry version. So here is the other version. This one has more black and white photos. I think it's pretty much all black and white. But um, it's a little bit more melancholic, but Young Jay just, Young Jay's always gorgeous. And then we have we do have a color one in there, um, color group one. But same thing on the backs. Um, it's got the same memo, and you can slide them in. So that is a nice, cute little gift, like calendar thing that you can stick up. And then you have the two versions. Um, I didn't do an unboxing for these, but I'm not going to. So I did get the paper for this one for JB, and then the paper for Bam Bam, so I did get those two papers, but as far as the cards go, I didn't buy as many this time, so I have Bam Bam and Jackson. If anybody would like to trade a ja trade Jackson for, um, I like JB, if you are interested, um, and I've traded with you before, or dealt with you before, then go ahead and message me. Same thing for these, I'd love to get a JB instead of Jackson. Um, and then I have these for the unit cards. There are second press that are different from these and I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. My main goal is just gonna be to get just the, the two other ones for Bam Bam. <laughs> um, Cause when in doubt, when I can't get JV and Bam Bam, I always go for Bam Bam. Um, so, but yeah, so these are um, the cards that I have for essentially seven for seven, a whole bunch. Um, but yes, that is the GOT7 bit. Next up, I will show you guys the BTS stuff. So for the BTS stuff, I'm not going to slide this out, um, but I do have the BTS Seasons Greetings 2018. It does come in paper here, which ugh, I hate that they put it in paper because I want to keep the paper to keep it nice. And it's got all this like this stamp, this army stamp and everything, but it's also a inconvenient and worries me about taking it out. I'll probably find a way to fold it nicely and keep it inside, but for right now, 
I don't want to pull it out. Um, I do have an unboxing of this if you are interested in the contents. It's a really nice season's greeting package, which I really enjoy. I love a good season's greetings and this one definitely delivers. Um, and then also I have two things in here. So I have the Wings Tour. They released both the DVD. So this is the bit healthier and then also the Blu-ray. I watch the Blu-ray mainly, but I get the DVD because it comes with photo cards and it comes with the photo book. Um, so I still do get the DVD, even though I really don't watch the DVD if they come out with a Blu-ray because I prefer to watch the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray also does come out with um, these big photos, which are really, really nice and they are from the concert and it's like really it's a great thing because it's like all the memories because I did get to go see it and it was fantastic and lovely and it just made my day days I went to see it three times <laughs> um but I don't regret any of that any of it and for those guys the cards that I did get because I did buy multiple versions of the DVD first off before I sold it for the photo cards, because I collect Nam June and J Hope, so I do have both of those their cards. Okay, and now for the other stuff. So I have a few other things here. First, we'll start with Block B's montage, which I just found out yesterday that they are coming out with Remontage, which is their repack. Um, I do have the Chico card because Chico is my bias wrecker. Um, Pio is my actual bias, but. None of, I put in, pull any PO cards in the go. So I went with my bias wrecker. I love, I love those two. They're my, obviously, um, Zico used to be my bias, but then PO just like pulled me in, sucked me in hard, but this is a really good album. And then I also have Demo 01. This is a signed version, all member signed from M-Wave. And I have the Idon Hong Sok and Wu Sok one, which is perfect for me because they are three of my four favorites <laughs> in the group. So um, this is also a very, very good album. And then I have the Yuto card because Yuto is my other favorite. Um, Yuto and Hong Sok are my biases. Um, Wu Sok and Idon are my bias records. So I adore Yuto. Next up we have Teenage. I got the RS version. Um, and so here is, this is just a gorgeous album. The RS one was the one that was out to mess me up. I love 17 albums because they are hard covers generally and they're like really good quality ones. And so I'm very happy to have this. Um, it also came with this little section here, which has all the actual goodies in it. Um, which is nice to have it kind of separated. Um, so you have the stickers, you have the mini poster. And so this is a mini poster I have. My name is so cute. Um, and then it came with, I got the sync one standee. And then I got my Coops baby for my card. I adore Coops. Um, so yeah, so that was a nice little bunching that I got there. Um, but I love Seventeen. Seventeen is one of my top groups. I've, I've finally accepted and admitted how much I love and adore Seventeen. But I, the truth is, I really do love them a lot. Okay. And, and last up, we have BAP Blue, which I just got from the go. And so I have the other version, this one I waited to get because I got it. It's got... I had chosen this one to get signed, um, and I have the Jungkook card, and this is, I'm sure you guys have all seen, but it's a lovely photo book. Too much mullet, but it's a lovely photo book. Great album. Um, I love everything VAP though. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you like it. If you like to see more reactions from me, more unboxings like this, please let me know, and I will see you guys next time. I'm out. No.